Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Said. Uh, this is question number two, and the paper is October November 20, paper 22, written over here. First of all, we have to solve this question by having some understanding of the question. This is a cylinder which is placed inside the water, it is submerged, there's a force acting on it, is its weight which is definitely acting downward. This force is given. The density of the water is given. And the most important thing that cylinder is stationary, it means the forces are balanced. The cylinder's weight and the height is given. The cross section of the diameter of the cylinder is also given. Its density is given. And the pressure difference between top and bottom is 520. It means the pressure at the top is P1 and the pressure at the bottom is P2. Then the delta P is the pressure difference. It is 520 Pascal. This pressure difference is given. And uh, if you are going to find this height, means uh, the pressure is delta P which is equal to rho gh, you know the pressure rho gh, and the delta P is 520, rho is the density of the liquid, that is 10 is per 3. The value of G is 9.81 and H is required. So H is uh, 520 divided by 1 into 10 to the power 3 into 9.81. And after the calculation, the answer is 0 0.053 meters. And H is to be written somewhere over at the top. Next, the second part of this question is show that the upthrust acting on the cylinder is this one. Upthrust means the force which is definitely acting upward because the direction of this force is always towards the less pressure. Hence, you know that P is equal to F over A. And if this P is called delta P, then this F is called upthrust. F is equal to delta P into A. And you know the area is uh, pi R square. But here we have the diameter, so we, so we may write it as pi d squared by 4 because r is equal to d by 2. When you will get the square on either side, it's d squared and the square of 2 is 4. So f is equal to delta p pi d squared over 4. Now we have to substitute the values. 520 pi and the diameter is 0 0.031 whole square divided by 4. So after calculating all these values by using the calculator, the answer is 0 0.39 newton. This was question number 2. And the paper is October number 22. Thank you very much. Bye.